Prometheus is a movie about a group of scientists traveling to a distant planet to try and find the engineers, the beings who created life on Earth. The team is led by the archaeologist couple Elizabeth Shaw, played by the girl with the dragon tattoo, and Charlie Holloway, played by Trey Atwood. It's like the writers created a series of events that had to happen to these characters, and then forgot to flesh it out. Things happen very abruptly and without much impact on the rest of the movie. For example, after one particularly traumatic event, Shaw stumbles into a room covered in blood and falls to the floor, and no one seems to care. Um, Joe, I need to talk to you about something. You remember when I was briefly in that alien dimension? I think I caught a virus or something. Can it wait? I'm kind of in the middle of a review here. Well, sorry. I'll just be in the living room dying. Thank you. The mission is funded and put together by the elderly CEO of Wayland Industries, Peter Wayland, played by Leonard Shelby. Wayland is interested in the engineers due to them possibly being able to prolong life. And seeing how Wayland's ridiculously old and sickly, I guess that makes sense. Oh. He's been really weak ever since the Avengers review. I don't know what to do. The reviews are Wally's energy source, so just keep making them, maybe double the output or get other people doing reviews. The more reviews, the better. Get as many as you can. In fact, why aren't you reviewing right now? Well, I was, but then I got worried about Wally. He sounded really sick. So you stopped doing the one thing that can help him? Get back to it, man! If you donate $10 to minipineapple.com, I will review the movie of your choosing. It can be old, new, good, or really bad. It's up to you. So donate today and help a god puppet in need. I'm not feeling too great either. Really? You're going to try and exploit Wally's pain for your own gain? Shame on you, June. Shame on you. Ah, whatever. Anyway, other members of the Prometheus crew include Wayland employee and badass Meredith Vickers, played by Rita, the goofy biologist Milburn, played by Shakespeare, the paranoid geologist Fifield, played by Ian Curtis, and the captain of the Prometheus, Janik, played by Hemdale. All of these characters are well acted, but the cast is so large that I had a hard time connecting to anyone. No one really has room to grow, and the editing is so muddled that it kills the pacing. For example, there's one scene where this guy is dying, and then it cuts to this guy exploring the planet for a while, then it cuts back to the guy dying, and I just don't care anymore. Speaking of people, I care about someone in pain. Can you... You're right. I have to save Wally. I'm off to Texas! So let's talk about the Alien series. I've only recently watched them all, but I really enjoy them. Alien was realistic, fun, scary, and beautiful. I loved every second of it. Aliens developed the mythos nicely, but suffered for having a structure too similar to Alien, being more action-oriented than horror, and having Bill Paxton. Alien 3 was okay, despite having that huge where did the egg come from plot hole, but in the end, was completely forgettable. And I loved Alien Resurrection, despite no one else liking it. It was weird, fun, different, and full of interesting ideas. I was excited when I found out that Prometheus was a prequel to Alien and was hopeful that it would explain about the space jockey. And in a way, it does. It explains what the space jockeys are, but not how or why one came to the planet in Alien. The movie's set in the same universe as Alien, but it's not a direct prequel, which is slightly frustrating because it could have easily have been tweaked into one while still leaving room for a separate sequel. My main problem with Prometheus is that it mostly seems to be setting up a sequel rather than being its own movie. It asks a lot of questions and answers none of them. What are the engineers' motivations? Did they really create us? Why are they trying to destroy us? There's also the Blade Runner-esque ambiguity of whether or not Vickers is an android, which in the end is neither answered or even relevant. At least David, played by Magneto, was interesting and essential to the story. Who's David, and what are you doing here? David is an android and the most interesting character in the movie. His story is also ambiguous, but not annoyingly so. You are unsure whether his actions are a result of developing emotions, or if he's just doing what he's programmed to do. He is one wonderfully acted and fun to watch. Also, the reason I'm here is to ask if you can provide Wally with some more reviews. He's not doing too well. Well, I made a review of The Wilds. I could send that with you. Sounds good. I was also wondering, what with you being an MIB agent and all, if there's perhaps some kind of technology that could synthesize whatever it is that makes up reviews? Unfortunately, I don't know what it is that makes up these reviews that Wally feeds on, but what I could do is send something along with you to watch and analyze the review that you currently seem to be doing and figure out what it is that makes up what I am now deciding to call the review juice. Release!
Adam! That's it? Hey, that's the latest in robot technology right there. Sadly, we're not in the future, and the latest kind of sucks. But it should be able to handle this mission okay. Although, I should probably also send a witch along too to handle things from a more magical perspective. Release! Tony! Hey! Since when do you work for Chris? It's Agent C. And yeah, I hired her after the Avengers review. Thought she showed potential. Guess I was wrong. Anyway, between the two of them, they should be able to figure out something. Why didn't you tell me you've been working for the MIB? I don't tell you a lot of things. You're delicate, user Joe. I uploaded my review into the robot. I hope it helps Wally. Now please get out of my house. <gasps> hey, June. Help! I am a robot! <gasps> Transferring movie review into Wally! 404 error, file not found. Typical. Joe, just keep doing your movie review and I'll tap into my mystical energy or whatever. And I'll analyze things! Beep, 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 beep. I was worried about this movie because as much as I like Alien, I really don't care for Ridley Scott. I thought Blade Runner and Legend were both visually appealing and had some interesting ideas, but the plot and the characters were muddled and uninteresting. Sadly, Prometheus has these same problems, though not as bad. And yes, I know. I like Alien Resurrection and dislike Blade Runner. I am aware that something is wrong with me. I know I've been really negative, but the movie is okay. It has great acting, great visuals, and great ideas. And the scene with the snake worm thing and the medical pod surgery, they're fantastic, <laughs> tense, and scary. <laughs> Oh dear. So all in all, I thought Prometheus was a bit disappointing, too ambitious, and too ambiguous. But with great acting, a few great scenes, and some interesting developments of the alien mythos, it's not altogether bad. Maybe go see it? <gasps> this is it! Halt! Unknown entity! <laughs> Tony, use your magic! Robot stuff! The unknown entity is truly defeated now. It ate Wally! I'm reading life signs within the entity. I believe user Wally is alive. Oh, wow, that's great. Take this thing back to MIB headquarters and see if you can remove Wally without hurting him. Oh, and uh, did you happen to get any uh, data on the review juice? I think my memory banks were disrupted when the entity hit my circuit board. Typical. Well, what about you, Tony? Did you have any luck with the review juice? I was too busy trying not to get eaten by some weird alien puppet thing. Oh, you're all alive. Not that I care. Oh, hey, June. You want to take Adam and the carcass to Texas for us? Not really. Cool, thanks. Hey, Tony, you want to help me clean up this mess? Not really. Cool, go get them up. What's up, bro? I miss anything? Eh, same old, same old. The unknown entity has devoured the puppet god. User Joe wanted to see if you could separate the two entities. Thanks, Adam. You are dismissed. Thanks, user Agent Chris. It's Agent C... Agent C. No matter. What does matter is this gift I've just been given. I am now in the possession of an alien and a god. The DNA alone could provide enough power to please my master. <laughs> yes, Vince will be pleased to hear of this development. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Oh, Hans. Hi. I didn't see you there. What's up? Not much. Is it cool if I crash here for the night? Not really. Cool. Your choices are President Buffy, Scottish Buffy, Animal Singing, Tom Cruise Singing, hopefully not as bad as Twilight, and hopefully not as bad as Jack and Jill. Vote for the movie you think I should review next in the sidebar on minipineapple.com. And be sure to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Facebook to find out what I'll be watching next and when. And if 10 people come to the Carmike Battlefield 10 Cinemas to watch it with me, June will join us. So again, vote for the movie you think I should review next in the sidebar on minipineapple.com. And while you're there, feel free to donate $10 for a separate review of your choosing. See ya!